Charlie, what do you what do you say to one another? Not necessarily what does the coach say. What do you say to one another after a game like that, a result like that? Um, it's hard, isn't it? Because obviously nothing really went to plan tonight, um, and the third first overriding feeling is disappointment but if you just sit around and be disappointed you're never going to improve and get anywhere and one thing we know about this group is that we bounce back quite well um, and that will be the main focus now so look you have to wear it a little bit but we've sort of said we're just going to move on get on to the next game and, and rip into Newcastle next week. I mean it's it's almost five years since Tigers have won here it's not an easy place to come and win they're sitting second in the table but there are moments tonight where you think you probably hurt yourselves on top of taking on a good team. Definitely, I think we had a good plan coming into the game, and we didn't we didn't make, we didn't execute it. Um, we spoke about uh, physicality and, and other things like that, and, and we we just didn't put our best foot forward tonight, which is which is the des disappointing thing because it's all our control. Um, and in this group, we take responsibility for a lot of our actions, and that's what's disappointing. A couple of things you can't take responsibility for is a fellow front rower in the centres. I don't know if you were thinking about sending yourself out to 10 and having to go out there, but you're getting to the point where genuinely you're thinking, what position am I going to end up? You've got Freddie Stewart playing both wings. It was a little bit wild and windy out there. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, this group, we just want to keep fighting and no matter the circumstances. And I think there was still plenty of effort showed in that last bit. Um, it was a lack of execution that killed us. And you know, Gabe came on and, and summed up exactly what it is to be a, a lesser tiger. And, came on, didn't moan about it and cracked on of his job at centre and I thought he did quite quite well when he came on there. Well, he would have done, he'd done a better job than I would have done anyway. So. Finally mate, one bloke who does epitomise what it is, your good mate Callum Green, 100 games for Leicester Tigers, he, he probably won't want to remember the game itself. What can you say about him and, and what this club and what he means to this club? He is the epitome of this club, uh, the way he goes about his work, how tough he is, just uh, I think... I remember both finals we played in the Challenge Cup final. He's he's got a back that's yeah going in all sorts of different directions, but he's still running around putting all the hits. And um, I think it was Genji who said last year he got Callum in the final of the Prem. He's got no cartilage in his knee and all this, and it just he keeps on going. And it's good to have that old school grit um, within the within the squad. And it's, it's great to have him around and great to be a mate.